So DNA technologies are really cool and they've provided us with a lot of really good things. However, there are some safety and ethical issues that surround DNA technology. So back in 1975, there was a conference on recombinant DNA and they concluded that recombinant DNA used for research purposes can be particularly risky. And so they implemented a set of guidelines to try and minimize that risk. The NIH later issued formal guidelines for recombinant DNA work. And now they're very well regulated and there are lots of laboratory safety procedures to try and regulate the use of recombinant DNA in the lab. So one example of a safety concern would be what if we transferred cancer genes. So if we took cancer genes and then we put them into a bacterial genome, then that bacteria, if it infected someone, then it could potentially transfect cancer genes into an individual. So that would be that would be pretty bad. So that's one example of a safety concern using te DNA technology. Um, another safety concern is how do we protect researchers that are working with recombinant DNA from being uh, affected by the technology? Well, there are a lot of well, there are a lot of safety guidelines in place to try and minimize any exposure risk that researchers have when working with these recombinant DNA technologies. So, some ethical issues that that come up include. If we're able to modify the genome, then if we if imagine that there's a there's a pregnant woman and we're able to sequence the baby's genome, and let's say that we we notice that there is some kind of defect, what are the ethics surrounding the correction of that defect? Defect is it is it ethical to fix a mutation that might cause a cancer, for example? How do we know that fixing the mutation isn't going to cause some other cancer? How do we know if the or how do we know what the long-term effects of genetically modifying a, a infant's genome are? So these are all ethical questions that kind of surround that. And um, if we kind of drag it out, what if we, what if an individual is perfectly normal genetically? Is it okay if we put in genes that help that make them smarter or faster? What are the ethics surrounding that? So those are some some ethical issues. Um, So that would be genetic modification. So another ethical concern that has been brought up is we're able to genetically fingerprint individuals. So forensic scientists are able to pinpoint uh, a suspect's DNA. Um, they're able to figure out who an individual they're able to figure out what individual left a DNA sample at a crime scene, for example. So we're getting better at genetic fingerprinting. But what are the ethics around that? If, what, what, if, what if the government was able to track every single person that opened a certain door based on their, the, the DNA that was left behind? Or what if someone took a piece of gum that you spit out on the sidewalk and isolated DNA and was able to track it back to you? So there are some problems around privacy issues. So I'll write that down here, privacy issues. And with the Human Genome product, Project, how do we prevent genetic information from being used in a discriminatory manner? So for example, if we know that someone has the gene for a specific breast cancer, then maybe health insurance companies won't insure that individual. Or maybe future employers won't want to offer that individual a job because they know, oh, this individual is going to get breast cancer later on. We don't want her working here. So there are these privacy issues that come up with the ability to be able to sequence and modify a genome.